Hey everyone, welcome to the latest entry in my Patreon lesson series. This week, one of you guys requested the tune, In the Pines. Um, so if you'd like to request a future lesson, you can head to my Patreon. There should be a link somewhere in the description, wherever the description of this video is. You can head there, sign up, make a request. We could do claw hammer banjo, finger picking on the guitar, um, singing, whatever, just something about playing music. So um, yeah, if you wanna head there, check it out. Um, or even message me before you want to sign up when you talk about it. So uh, as well with every lesson that I make, uh, a tab accompanies the lesson. So if you want to look in the description of this video, you should be able to find a, a, tab, a, a link to the tab that accompanies this video. I'd recommend looking at it. This song, especially since we're it's in 3-4 time, has some funky timing and can be really helpful, I think, to be looking at the tab at the same time just to get a feel for what's going on. So before we dive into it, though, uh, I'm just going to give it a little play for you so you can hear what we're trying to play. So um, the, re the request for this week was for the way that I play In the Pines on my latest album, Honey Baby. Um, if you want to listen to it more, there's also a link somewhere in the description of this video or somewhere nearby this video that you should be able to find, Spotify, Bandcamp, a CD, whatever. Um, but a couple things to keep in mind when we start this tune is that one, uh, we're in D-modal tuning. So, well, actually we just start there. We're in D-modal tuning. So we got G on the drone, D, G, C, D. Uh, it's like our Shady Grove tuning. Um, so two big things when we dive in. We have our primary chord shape, which really is just, we're gonna take our index finger, place it on the second fret of the C string we're gonna anchor it there. If that finger is not doing something throughout this song, it should just be there. So um, what we, when we play that chord, we get that nice power chord where we have the double, the doubled note down. So uh, both uh, the C string on the second fret and the D string, same note. So anytime you can make that ring out, that's great because it just gives you that nice banjo feeling. Um, the other thing is this song is in 3-4 time, so we can't get away with just bum diddying through the whole song. Um, we need a pattern that kind of matches this 3-4 time, and that is going to be our bum diddy diddy. So instead of a bum diddy bum diddy, you just go bum diddy diddy bum diddy diddy bum diddy diddy bum diddy diddy. That's it. Just add a second diddy to your bum diddy. Um, then uh, um, the that that bum diddy diddy pattern with this chord shape is how we enter into this song. So before you play the verse, it's just kind of where we're vamping. We're ready to play the next verse. You could hang out here as long as you want before you do anything. So. As you'll see, the melody for the banjo part follows the singing melody. So if something's not sounding right, uh, just think to what the melody's supposed to sound like or cue up the song, and you should be able to follow along and kind of find the notes as well. Um, but of course, there's tab going along with this video, so please use that to your benefit. Um, so to, to get into the verse, we're going to start by doing a bum diddy slide. Um, 
in that slide, we're going to keep our index finger right where it is. But when we get ready to do the slide, we're going to take our middle finger, we're going to place it on the second fret of our G string, and we're going to slide it from the second to the third strat. Um, and so our bum diddy slide will sound like bum diddy slide, bum diddy slide. And we're going to go right back into the same bum diddies from bum diddy diddies from before. So, or a new one bum diddy diddy like before. So we end up getting bum diddy slide bum diddy diddy. That's the beginning. This next line, you're going to take your index finger, slide it down one fret to the first fret, and then play and slide right back up. So you'll end up getting and here's another bum diddy diddy. So the start of the tune starts bum diddy slide bum diddy diddy slide diddy diddy. So from here, uh, the kind of three, four time feel, keep that in mind. But now we start getting some more bum ditty shapes because we're going to play like a bum ditty and then a pick up to the next, to the next chord, uh, or sorry, to the next measure, um, which kind of changes the feel a little bit, uh, which is why I recommend kind of looking at the tab while we go through this next part. So we've just done slide bum ditty. Slide diddy diddy, and now we're gonna go open on that C string. So bum diddy, and then put your index finger back and pull off. So so bum diddy pull off. So that's our three notes there. That's one measure. Bum diddy pull off. All right. So then the next measure. After you pull off, you're going to land your index finger back down, but on the second fret of the G string, and you're going to bend it up a half note. Um, you know you did a half note if it's the same note as the third fret. But it gives you that nice haunted feel when you do that bend, so uh, I prefer that to just playing the third fret. So let's go back real quick to slide, bum, diddy, diddy, slide, diddy, diddy, bum, diddy, pull off, bend, diddy. Okay, so after we do, so um, we had a full three, so each measure, as I'll keep talking about it, is three notes because we're in three, four time. So we had the measure that went open, diddy, pull off. The next set of three notes is bend, diddy, open on the C string. Okay, so to put those two together, we get all right. And that last note you can feel is the melody picking up under the next line. Um, so the next line after that. Is we're gonna slide, go on that first fret with your index finger on the C string, slide up to the second fret. We'll do slide diddy, take that finger off and play that open string. So these three notes are slide diddy open, slide, slide diddy open. So going back to the start, we have slide bum diddy diddy slide diddy diddy bum diddy pull up in diddy bum slide diddy there we are all right i uh, got a little overconfident thinking i could say all the things as we went through so from the So there we are. We just slid up. Um, so slide, diddy, open, bend, bend, diddy, unbend, open. All right. Uh, so throughout.
throughout the end of the verse, there isn't really this natural resting place. You have to keep being ready for these pickups and thought, thinking about what the words are supposed to be like as you're playing can be really helpful. Um, so um, let's start from the beginning and do that real slow. I know that the end might still be a little confusing, um, potentially, but we're gonna start with just our bum ditties, bum ditty ditties. Let's go back to right after the um, slide did, did, uh, um, uh, which is right at the beginning. So to like even be thinking about how the words go, we would have in the pines, in the pines, where the sun don't ever shine, I shiv. So I would also just encourage you actually to um, think about uh, just playing the melody line. So, uh, my girl, my girl, where did you go? Where did you sleep last night? Um, that can be really helpful for getting the feel because we're playing this three, four time. I find that I even sometimes have a hard time talking about um, feeling three, four times. So apologies if I've been confusing at all up to this point. Um, so this cool little riff that we have going on as well, where um, after we do our, so slide, bum, diddy, diddy, slide, diddy, diddy. So we're right here. Um, we're going to play, just as a reminder, bum, diddy, pull up in. And then we'll open slide ditty, open bend ditty, and you should still be holding this bend right here. So bend ditty, and we're gonna unbend and release. So we just get this really nice sounding. So. play along with that too like um, I know that I've repeated multiple parts of this song um, it can be helpful just to go through and play them a few times and try and match up see if you're hearing what you're hearing when I'm playing while you're playing um, one other thing is I kind of like to do this alternate ending sometimes where normally it ends with uh, the unbend this case we're not going to unbend we're going to get to that same spot take your middle finger put it on the D string third fret slide up to the fifth fret um, just a different feel I think it sounds powerful so to do that one more time Take a look at the tab um, for this tune as well while you're going through this video. Um, I hope that this is helpful. Um, this is a really, really cool song. Um, if you're interested in requesting uh, any other lessons, you can always head to my Patreon. Uh, if you aren't sure, if it, maybe there's a tune you're not sure if I can put a lesson together for, please just reach out. would love to answer any questions before you consider signing up. And uh, yeah, I hope you have a good one. Stay safe, stay healthy, and uh, keep on playing that banjo.